Hey guys, what's up? My name's Chopper, and ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video. And today, I'm going to show you guys the top five easiest ways to find diamonds in Minecraft. Now, whether you're a brand new player and you're looking for the best way to find diamonds, or maybe you've already played this game, but it's just been a little while for you, and you want to know the best ways and the strategies to find diamonds quickly, then I've got you covered in this video. Now, some of these methods are very different from each other, and a lot of them are going to depend on your preference and also what kind of like player you are based on your skill and knowledge of the game. So you might prefer one method over the other, but at the end of the day, they're all going to help you find diamonds very easily. So if you guys enjoyed this video, if this helps you out at all, I would really appreciate if you could spare a second to drop a like rating. It is absolutely free to you. Helps me out a lot. It really does. And of course, if you are brand new to this channel, you haven't already subscribed, make sure to do that for more Minecraft videos. If you like games like this and Hytale, all that kind of stuff, you're going to make sure you stick around here. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, sit back, relax, and let's get into these top five best ways to find diamonds in Minecraft. So coming in today at the number five spot, guys, is first and foremost going to be probably the easiest way for somebody to find diamonds, especially Especially if you're brand new to the game and you're not familiar with all the mechanics and different things that you can use in order to make your life easier but essentially this is the easiest way to find diamonds if you're just using like a pickaxe or something or if you have a very limited amount of resources now this is just simply caving you can start with either a natural cave that has already spawned in and then go from there and then build out or you can just simply start your own cave uh, just in any part of the terrain you want and then dig down until you hit the right zone so essentially, with this kind of more basic way of mining diamonds, the, the best way to go about this is you are going to have to go maybe a little bit deeper than you otherwise would, especially with some other methods of finding diamonds with this, because you only have really, realistically, one tunnel unless you come across like a certain cave opening while you're already underground. So if you come across something like this and you find a patch of lava that's, you know, relatively open, then you're probably in the right place to find some diamonds, and there's probably a lot nearby. And now, the best way to go about obtaining these diamonds, once you hit a certain level like this, if you get down to a Around this zone or even a little bit deeper you can still find diamonds but there's a certain way that you're going to want to isolate the diamonds when you do find them in order to obtain as many as possible and also another thing you got to mention what's important to know about caving itself is that you're going to end up with a lot of resources especially stone and you're going to want to have as many iron picks as possible i'd recommend because sometimes you might just you know keep finding diamond veins back to back and you're not going to have enough picks made without going up and then you know restoring one now, when the time comes and you do end up finding diamonds, it's really important that since you're probably going to be around the level where there is lava, that you isolate the entire diamond vein and make sure that whatever you mine does not fall into lava or at least gets lost in any way because that's like that's unbelievably important. And another thing about this simply manually caving to find all of your diamonds is really time consuming and sometimes you might not find anything whatsoever so it's not the most efficient way to go but if you're brand new to the game i'd probably recommend starting with this method as it's it's really easy to get a hold on you don't need to build a lot of equipment you don't need a ton of stuff and uh it, it's pretty straightforward to get into but but if you want to go a little bit beyond this method, I've got another one for you. So coming at the number four spot, another way you can go about this is by using TNT. Now this method's a bit more complicated than just simply caving just with a pickaxe because this requires you to build a couple more things. You're going to need to get yourself a flint and steel and probably a hefty amount of TNT as well. Now this method is preferred by some people because not only does it save you a lot more time than just simply caving, but you also can clear so much more ground in that given time as well. Now the only downside to using just TNT as your primary source of getting through caves is the fact that some of the resources that come out of this are probably going to end up getting lost. Because depending on where you put your TNT, you can accidentally blow up some diamonds or like shred the outer rock around it and then it's going to end up falling into lava. It's a pretty dangerous game to play if you don't know exactly where the diamonds are going to be located, but it can definitely help you clear out a lot of space in a very short amount of time. Now it is possible, I suppose, to combine these two strategies, right? You can use TNT to just like get through the initial upper like part of the ground. And then once you get into the lower zones near where the caves are, maybe where some natural openings are going to be, then you can start just manually mining and it comes with much less risk doing it that way. You're also going to want to make sure you have a full stack of torches as well, because as you continue to open like these big cleared out sections of the cave, you're going to want to light them up to see exactly what you ended up getting. But it's a fast way to descend downwards and clear out out pretty quickly and I think I'd recommend this to players who are like moderately skilled with the game or moderately familiar with everything because it's not like as simple as just caving and you can combine the two like I said but uh, I think it's super important that you know exactly what you're doing with TNT as it can be a little bit dangerous not only to yourself but to the diamonds that you're going to be going after but if you're not satisfied with this method either then we got a couple more now this next way you can find diamonds is going to be a little bit more complicated but it's certainly worth the reward and this is going to require you to do some enchanting now I'm just showing you this as an example of what an enchantment would look like in case you guys aren't familiar 
earlier. But essentially, what you're going to be doing is using either your iron pickaxe or a diamond one, even if you have it at this point. But most likely, you're going to be using an iron and trying to get an enchantment on this called Fortunate Three. Now, enchanting itself can get a little bit complicated. So what I'm going to do to simplify it, if you guys aren't aware on how to enchant, I'm going to leave a link down below in the description. That's a more comprehensive guide on all the things that can be done with enchanting. But it's important to know which ones you're going for when you're using this table and then what the effects do. Essentially, you can get a wide variety of bonuses that really help out your equipment. So for example, you can get one called Unbreaking, which just makes your piece of equipment way more resilient and it lasts way longer as you're mining in this case. But what you're looking for is to get the fortune enchantment. This is going to allow you to mine way more and pull much more diamonds per vein. So you're going to get like, as soon as you break the block with your pickaxe, you're going to get a certain amount of diamonds that you can actually use out of that. But when you have the fortunate one, you're going to get significantly more than you otherwise would just with a regular iron pick. And that's great because if you put in the effort to set aside some time to put together an enchanting table and then get that enchantment, which, you know, is not really easy to be fair. Every single time you mine diamonds, it's going to be way more rewarding than if you just went in and got it yourself. You can use the enchantment method with all other previous mentioned methods in combination to get the best results for these diamonds. Now moving on, but keeping that in mind for these next two methods, this is going to be coming at the number two spot is like terrain leveling. And so this is a little bit more of an advanced method for sure. And this is really only going to be used when you're like sanctioning off a plot of land that you're going to use to either build your own base, like a big structure. And you know where you were going to build it, but maybe let's say like there's a couple hills in the way you want to flatten all of this out. And you can do that. It takes a lot of work to, you know, like flatten out a complete plot of land for you want to build your place but what you can do as your terrain leveling is go just under where you're leveling and then get all the diamonds and then rebuild over it basically through as you're cutting through mass amounts of like dirt and stone to you know plot out your land you can also go a little bit deeper under that get the diamonds that will be resting under your house and then as soon as you have mined everything using whatever methods we talked about before then you can go ahead and close that hole back up and then continue to build your structure just so you don't waste any land and again i'm only going to recommend this method when you're actually clearing out huge parts of land and you want to take down like a mountain or something to build your place but you know in the in the case that that does happen then this method is for you but finally ladies and gentlemen coming in today at the number one spot the most efficient way to get diamonds on this game the easiest way in my opinion is by branch mining now the method itself is not easy but getting diamonds as soon as you can master this is very very easy now branch mining is going to work the best for you once you figure out and you're aware of how like lava buckets water buckets and obsidian all that kind of stuff works because to know the mechanics of those because you're going to need to know what those are if you want to branch mine effectively now what branch mining is in essence is kind of like method one just regular caving but you have a whole bunch of like you have an entire Entire network of these caves going on at once. It's good to have one central hub that connects all the networks and most likely where you're going to be traveling in and out of. And if you can have an effective way to move all the resources that aren't diamonds up through there pretty quickly, then it's going to make your life a whole lot easier. The reason why you're going to need buckets and especially water is because you never know when lava is going to hit and you're going to need to either cross it or something or, you know, work around it and maneuver in order to get diamonds that are in an awkward position as that is going to happen if you're branch mining as the network is just so unpredictable. Another reason it's kind of difficult is it's really easy to get lost within your branches if you're not really familiar with what you're doing. If you just start a branch from a natural cave and you only make a couple, you shouldn't have too many problems, but it's one of those things just don't get ahead of yourself or like you might just end up abandoning your entire branch and potentially missing out on plenty of diamonds and other resources that are really, really valuable in this game. And I cannot stress enough how efficient it is to have Fortunate 3 while you're branch mining. These are the two arguably most complex and hardest ways to mine for diamonds in this game, but they are far and away the most rewarding and and uh, for what it's worth, it's something that I recommend that everybody try. Sometimes the branches, however, the network becomes really vertical instead of horizontal. And that's really hard to maneuver through a lot of the time. So having water in order to that you can swim up and help you get out or at least get to a higher level is uh, is definitely crucial if you're going to be doing this. Otherwise, you could get trapped on here and that would not be good. Now, while I've already said it, this is absolutely, in my opinion, the best way to mine diamonds. But any of the previous ones will work. And for whatever reason, you sink hours into Minecraft using these methods and you still cannot find diamonds. Then the other method I'm just going to throw in here as an honorable mention that's going to work is if you honestly just find villages you can find some diamonds in the chest that they have in the houses now it's not going to be a ton of diamonds keep in mind and uh, i guess it is a little bit easier than mining but you're not going to get a whole lot out of it so i don't recommend that unless you physically cannot find anything else using these methods but at least one of them should work but anyways guys i think that is going to be the video for today the top five best ways and easy ways to find diamonds in minecraft and i really hope you guys did enjoy this video if this was helpful at all a like rating would be very much appreciated and of course make sure you do subscribe if you're branded to the channel 
channel. I'm going to have plenty more crazy Minecraft videos coming out very soon that you're not going to want to miss. And if there's anything in particular that you guys want to see on this game, whether it's mods, shaders, just tutorials, like anything, I'm absolutely open to ideas. And if you guys have absolutely anything that you want to see on this game, then do let me know down below in the comment section as uh, I'm down to try whatever. I'm thinking about making a complete like beginner's guide for those of you who are just getting back into Minecraft. That's just like a comprehensive view of everything. So I think I'm going to make that. Stay tuned for it. And uh, there's going to also be some mods coming up on this channel as well. So drop a like if you guys enjoyed the video, subscribe and stick around. And uh, without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching once again. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Link will be down below in the description. And I'll see you all on the next live stream or the next video. Take it easy, guys, and peace out.